Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I just wanted to say a quick thank you to the new subscribers and I wanted to urge you if you haven't uh, read this article about Cut the Red Tape for Heroes, um, this woman has mortgaged her house over $600,000 to get personal safety equipment to frontline workers during COVID-19. Any little bit helps. Um, she's raised about 300,000 on her GoFundMe page. Uh, that's half the way there. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below and I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do, please comment, like, and subscribe. All right, enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back. A couple weeks ago, I did a video on the Papa V sisters and did a lot of interesting research on BJD, ball and joint dolls. And sorry, I keep looking out the window because I'm in my natural habitat and I'm in a bigger space than normal. So I've got a beautiful view outside. Not really, but there's a nice sky. I came across some dolls online that were ball and joint dolls, not of the same quality as Papa V sisters, but by 3A, which a lot of you may know if you're into the urban toy movement, 3A is really popular. Ashley Wood is a former designer for 3A who's since moved on to do other projects. They're adult toys. <laughs> But I got into these dolls called Isabel Pasha. I had been looking at them for that. Then the next day I went back and looked again, and the next day I went back and looked again, and I looked on eBay. They made them about four years ago, and then obviously stopped making them. Finding ones that are mint in box is not the easiest affair, but they're not that much more expensive now than they were originally, which is handy. <sighs> I bought some. I went on eBay and I bought some and they're here. So I'm doing a double unboxing. Oh, look at my big boxes. <laughs> oh, did I just, just, I think I just showed my address on here. <laughs> I was gonna cut that bit out. Let's see, so let's get started. So obviously these are in shipping boxes, but I left them in the whole container situation because some of the Isabel Pasha dolls are in clear boxes and it wouldn't be very fun to do an unboxing with a clear box. I'm also using new sound today, so this video could be a complete mess. You should come to expect a little bit of a mess from me. I don't like to be too well-kempt, as they say. Well, some of you are thinking, Sean, no danger of that. Okay, let's see what we have. Right off the bat, we have packaging peanuts, which who doesn't love packaging peanuts? Oh, you guys, this is even better because this is not what I thought it was. This is a multi-unboxing. So I've got a bunch of things in here, which I'm excited about. My first one is the original Mini Marshall in 64 colors, a limited edition collectible vinyl toy. He's a Squibbles Inc. and Rotofungi. As you can see, he's an adorable little marshmallow man. Can you see him pretty well? I'm uh, really obsessed with red, white, and blue, and he just had that adorable, the colors of him. He's not terribly squishy, but that's a cute toy. Keep your eye on him, he might be a giveaway. And then Keith Herring Vinable, Vi Vinable, do you guys like Vinable? Do you like old Vinable? Do you like Vinable records? These are Keith Herring limited surprise boxes. They are, this one's already been opened thankfully, but we can see what they are. So you guys remember I talked about the radio that is being remade for SoundCube and it's based on this design, this famous Keith Haring design, so I got one of those. These are all meant to be giveaway items, so if you like them, you might as well subscribe to the channel. One in blue as well, hope you like that. Great box as well. Shows all of the collectible dolls on the back. Andy Mouse, which is like Andy Warhol, and uh, Flying Devil, which I wasn't too familiar with. Radiant Baby, we all know, and Barking Dog, we all know. And the three-eyed smiling face. I hate packing peanuts so much. This box is Isabel Pasha. The thing is, like you get these free peanuts and like they don't, they just don't taste as good as peanuts. <laughs> okay, here she is. Bitch, this is mint in box. I'm opening it because I have gotten far too old and collected far too many things and just craved wanting to touch them while they're in the box and I'm just not doing it anymore. This doll is for my possession. So I'm gonna open it up. She will no longer be mint. She's already, I'm removing her mintiness. I like that adjective, minty, but I think it means like salty, like giving attitude. This feels so good, opening this. I love it. Let's slide that cuff off. So Isabel Pasha, I haven't done a ton of research on like what the origin is of this. I don't know if it's based on a manga already. If you guys know, please feel free to school me, roast me, toast me. The box is beautiful. 
as you can see. So I think it is a comic or a manga because these would be examples of the manga. And I think, oh, I can't actually show that because it's a little bit dirty. But um, she's a woman who gets into lots of ooh, sexual situations or um, racy situations. They made a bunch of, of her and she's also like a spy or something. I don't know. She's cool. How cool is she? So she's got a, a bunch of different iterations. Here she is in her molded plastic case that's about to get open and in my face. I hope so. All this being said, I'm gonna put it back. So she's never gonna be mint in the box again, but she will come with all of her original packaging, which is good. Oh, this thing just fell out of her hoo-ha. So here's the extra ball joints for her wrists because these dolls have some interchangeable hands comes with a, um, a booklet and a sticker, a 3A um, booklet. I don't know. Uh, no, it's not just her. It's a 3A general poster. I'm not going to open that up because it gives a little value and I'm not really into that stuff. I'm mostly into the figures. But come on, how gorgeous is she? Pull off her plastic scissors. You gotta get them scissors out so you can try and open this bitch. Please don't break because it would be so sad. What's crazy is I have a second Isabel Pasha doll to open. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. I can't even take it. Seriously, look at you, you guys. Look how beautiful she is. She's a little overexposed here, babe. But like, look at her molded hair. She's got a very femme fatale body. She's got these great little shoes on. Mind you, this thing has been like three years old. She's just been sitting in a box. Don't you think that's a shame somehow? I get the idea of collecting, but somebody's got to enjoy it somehow, right? Like if we're not going to enjoy stuff, let's just put it in a time capsule for who's going to. Somebody's got to enjoy it somehow. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's going to be me. It's going to. Oh, I can't sing on YouTube. You know what I was going to sing though, right? That I was telling um, my person that that's the one thing I didn't see this year, I guess because we're all going through so much s personal stuff with not being able to get our hair cut that I didn't see a lot of it's going to be May memes this year. Not that I'm disappointed. It's rather racy what I'm doing. Like, I know a lot of collectors are going to be like, you took scissors to that plastic. I'll kill you. First, you got to catch me. Yo, she looks so cool, yo. Okay, seriously, look at this. Look at her loafers. I'm looking at my monitor, so look at her loafers and her sort of slender beauty. She's a, obviously a schoolgirl. She has this amazing cardigan tied around her waist, which can be slung about her shoulders or put on her. And it's good quality, yo. I'm just doing a little restyling, you know? Come on, that's cute. So ball and joint dolls are very... I was trying to make sure she's not showing any indecent bits because... I think you can get banned for that. Ball and joint dolls are this. this. These joints are done with ball and joint so you can fully articulate them, you know? She's posable from like the waist, there you go, and the head, there you go, and the knees, there you go, and the feet, the ankle joints as well. Woo! She has lovely lingerie on. It's black with white polka dots, which I can just make out underneath the white shirt. So that's the Isabel Pasha Otome no Taikoku. So that's my beautiful new, my beautiful new doll. I feel weird going up her dress. Very weird about that. I'm sure other people would not, I do. Anyway, that's our lady. How cool. This one is really cool as well. If I'm not mistaken, she's in a clear box. This one is definitely from eBay. That one was from, that one was from a company called Minty Fresh. So all of those Keith Haring toys are available at Minty Fresh, which is a European giant toy store, which I believe is based in like, the, in the Netherlands. I may sell them at some point. I'm not gonna sell them as mint in box because like I said, I just feel people don't enjoy stuff. Like, leaving art to sit in a storage unit is just, I think sad like art is inspirational so you got to sort of feel like how much inspiration is trapped and lost 
because no one is getting to observe the art. Plus, do you know that a lot of like old art, when I say old, I mean like classical art, has a lot of esoteric and spiritual wisdom hidden within it. And they believe that that kind of wisdom only opens up to the viewer at certain times in the history of the world. What if this is one of those times what if there's some big secret on some painting that's in, a, in storage somewhere and someone might figure that out, a cure for something or a gateway to a better world and we can't access it because we can't see the art and nobody can get the inspiration from it. I didn't have my nap today. That's why I'm talking so crazy. I'm always struggling to open stuff on my channel. That's what my channel's all about, struggling to open boxes. <laughs> I was out in the sun today with my dog, Bug, and, and we had lunch outside and she, she doesn't listen. She's not afraid of anything and she certainly does not take no for an answer, so she's a, she talks back. What are you doing? <coughs> Shh. <coughs> she's trying to get to eat my lunch and she wanted some of it and I was like, no. And she was like, you're not the alpha, I'm the alpha. So I can't remember the name of this dude, but he's... Um, his last name is definitely Rothschild, and this just shows you all of the 3A characters, Tomorrow Kings, Adventure Cartel, WWR Evil, Evenfall. They do these incredible costumes. This is Isabel Pasha, Parade. Popbot also has some really great figures. She's really cool. Um, this is, 3A is so popular because pe they do these incredibly detailed costumes and everything is so well thought out and well crafted. She's not mint in box, but she is still n new. Like all the parts are here and oh my God, it's really hard doing a video when you've had like a full day of sun. It's like, cause I have sunstroke. So, what? She's cute, what? Crazy, right? This is Choco, um, she's Choco something. Hold on, I'll tell you in a minute. Easter TQ, Yukate Jane. Cool, huh? So this one is not um, an Isabel Pasha doll. I think this one's a Tomorrow Queens doll. She's a bunny, I'm gonna pull her skirt down just a little bit there so it's not offensive to anybody on YouTube. And yeah, they all come with these giant gloves. As you can see, she's wearing them. They have interchangeable hands, some of them. Um, hopefully she's wearing undergarments, yes, so I can pull the tab down, unzip this little cardigan. She's got like a little tank top on. She's kind of strawberry blonde. So yeah, there's just a lot of detail with these dolls, these ball and joint dolls. And these ones are just made from plastic, but um, not dissimilar to the proportions of the dolls that I showed you guys on that episode, Mint in Box. She's got her eyes closed. There's an eyes open version. And yeah, this is, she's the coolest. I'm just totally into these dolls. Highly collectible, kind of hard to find. She comes with two swords. So yeah, this is it. There's another sword for her other hand. And then the hands are obviously made to grip her sword action. There you go, Choco Bunny. I told my friend, he was saying, oh, I watch your episodes and I want so many of those toys now. And I was like, trust me, I do too. But I was like, you just gotta be able to look and admire the art of them and, and you won't, you know, you don't have to succumb to like buying them. So I justified these purchases because I was gonna do an unboxing and show you guys. But I also like to do stop motion animation. If you've watched some of my other videos, like my very first one, and I think I did um, a little bit of stop motion and maybe the second one, I definitely did it in the unboxing of the Penelope Poodle from Jelly Cats. These dolls are really great for stop motion animation, so I assume that at some point I will do a little bit of animating with, um, with these dolls. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, Isabel Pasha and Tomorrow Queens. Yes, Queen.